Did you find everything you were looking for tonight? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Um, yeah, so how are you doing this evening? Are you up early or are you up late? It's 3am, could be either. <sighs> Me too. Night shift. Do you have a rewards card with us? No? I'll just scan mine. Boop. Okay. So let's see what you got. Mm. This looks all so good. All of it looks delicious. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do this. Before I start, do you have a bag? Or do you want to buy one? You have one? Okay. Okay. Yep. You know what though? Like, seriously, no shame. I was up all last night crying. Yeah. And I was working last night. So, I've been there. Don't even worry about it. It's the power of makeup, trust me. I look like a mess under all this. Dude, I haven't taken a shower in like two days. This is from dry shampoo. No, seriously, I love dry shampoo. Yeah, you just like spray it through your hair and um, brush it through and it feels so good to have clean hair on the days that you just can't do it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing I like is I really like the um, I can't have grapefruit because of my medication, but like, um, it smells so good. And so I like to just get the wipes and just wipe it all over my face, and it feels so refreshing. Like, yeah. Okay. Let's see what you got here. Listen, my friend, she loves these, like, salt and vinegar is her favorite flavor. I'm not personally a fan of it myself. I feel like there's not enough water in the world that could keep me hydrated if I was eating these. Dude, you look fine. Seriously, honestly, like, dry shampoo, it's more common now, so, like, you can get it for cheaper. Like, even if you don't get it here, like, I know you're only here because we're the only thing open at 3 a.m., why else would you come? <laughs> but you should really, like, you should just get some, like, it's so easy and then you don't have to beat yourself up all the time for not being able to go take a proper shower. It's fine. Like, who's gonna know? Me? As if I'm gonna tell you. I meant to say, as if I'm gonna tell on you. So let's just pretend that I didn't mess that up. <laughs> okay. gonna eat this straight out of the tube. You're not picking cookies at 3 a.m. You're just eating out of this, aren't you? Dude, same. Like, they make the edible kind that won't give you salmonella, but like, death is coming. Death is coming. 
it just tastes different. I don't know. There's something about e eating it out of the tube with a little metal band on one end. It just hits different. It just hits different. Yeah, I've been on medication for like, oh my god, probably since I was like eight. And then I tried to get off of it the wrong way. And the air didn't go so well. So now I'm on a different one that I feel like helps a bit more. Yeah, I don't understand why everyone's always being like, ooh, medication's bad for you, it's gonna change your brain chemistry. I hope so. <laughs> why else do you think I am here at the doctor's office for my brain to stay the same? It's broke. <laughs> It's not a depression snack run if you don't get M&M's, so like, I approve. Whenever I see that it says sharing size, I just laugh and cry a little at the same time, because it's like, who am I sharing it with? The clothes all over my floor. <laughs> the little depression goblin that sits on my shoulder and tells me how much of a fuck up I am. There's like a scientific reason why I like this, not the square footage, because they're not, a, they're not a foot, but you know, like there's just something that makes the small ones taste so much better. say that routine is good for mental health, but like I'm so bad at making routines, but I got this coffee maker to try to make it a routine in the morning to make coffee, because I'm more of a coffee person than a monster person, and like, I just can't do it, I just, I just, I, then I try going for like instant coffee, no, I just buy bottled coffee now. I can't be trusted to maintain a routine. Oh my god, my brain is so broken, like... Oh my gosh. But my friends love these, and I'm just like... They're like, I have insomnia. And I'm like, you're drinking monsters at midnight. And they're like, it doesn't affect me. And I'm like, then why are you awake for two days straight? <laughs> but like, I can't really... I can't really blame them because I drink coffee all day long. We all have our vices, and there could be worse things. Oh my gosh, did you did you see that that post that was like some person put like a five hour energy in a four loco and called it a nine loco, and someone was like, just do real like the rest of us. And I'm like. Who are these people having nine locos and doing? I mean, we all find ways to cope. A nine loco. That's just, that's just. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. What else you got? No way. I'm 
this was like my depression snack in 2015. I seriously eat these every day. And honestly, no one likes to them. I can't do it. I can't eat anymore. I must have eaten thousands of them. Seriously. But they are very good. I feel like they used to have like a window, didn't they? Like it wasn't a picture, it was a window. They even have like a different crunch than regular Cheetos. You know what? At this point, I'm I'm fighting this depression out of spite. Like, if the people from my high school can finish their diplomas, then I can like beat my own brain. I always thought I was going to do so much more, and then, th th then the depression hits like kind of harder when you're, when you're a young adult. Oh my gosh. But like the way that I see it is like, I worked so hard and gotten through so much to get here. So like, if I quit now, then like what was it for? I'm here waiting for the payoff. <laughs> like. At some point, it's gotta change. That's really all I think about. Like, that's all I can really say. At some point, it's different. And I'm waiting for that time. I won't be able to see it if I'm not here. So, that's what I tell myself. If depression wants to kill me, it should, like, act like a real disease and do it itself instead of trying to get me to do its dirty work for it. <laughs> Seriously, I... So dumb. always eating these. We have so many at home, it's just like stacked and stacked and stacked in the cabinet. She'll just go an entire day eating these and I'm just like, mom, you're gonna have a whole heart attack. And she's like, oh, death is coming. I'm like, <laughs> you right. And like, who am I to judge? I literally, like I said, drink coffee all day. And I used to live off of Chester fries, so like, it's not like it's any better now. It's like, I feel like I used to be one of those people that like would forget to eat, but now I just eat all the time. And that's on unhealthy coping mechanisms. Though I hate when someone finds out that you're depressed. And then they're just like, oh, you know what? Like, I know the world is so dark right now, but like, it's all gonna be okay. And it's like, I mean, yeah, it 
it's gonna be okay, but you don't know me, so like, why are you trying to have this weird inspirational preachy moment at me? Like, they like, grab your hands even though they don't know you, and they're just like, you remind me of my niece. I'm like, how do I remind you of your niece? You don't, you know me, you random person on the bus. And it's like, I know that they're trying to come from like a good place, but it's like, are you doing this so that you feel like a good person? Because you're not gonna inspire me in one sitting. <sighs> but you know, like... <sighs> I, know, I know what it's like, obviously. I'm going through it. But like... Are you gonna come back tomorrow? Okay, so how about this? If I get through tonight, and you get through tonight, uh, you should come back in tomorrow and I can show you, like, my favorite dry shampoo and stuff. Yeah. I have a short shift tomorrow, so I'll get off at, like, <sighs> when I get off tonight at, like, 6 a.m., and then tomorrow I have to go back in at, like, 5, but then I'm off at, like, uh, 9. So, like, if you want to come back tomorrow, like, after 9, I can, like, wait for you. Like, we can make a little mini pact for the night, like, you don't die tonight, and I don't die tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Serious? No, I'm being serious. Okay, let me just finish checking out. You know, I want to say that I'm really proud of you, because, like, mood about all the snacks that you bought, but I like how at the end you were just like, mm, what if I didn't die of scurvy today? Like, that's so good. I'm proud of you. Like, you weren't feeling well, and you thought, you know what? You know what would make me feel better? Chocolate. And then you were like, you know what might also make me feel better? Not dying of malnutrition. <laughs> Seriously, that's so good. It's, it's like a miniature, I mean, it's not miniature, it's big. Like, you made a decision. You made a decision to do something nice for yourself. And that matters. Little things like that. Little tiny moments like that. Are these gummies? <gasps> and you got the gummies! <laughs> so like, once when I was like seven, these were in the house, and I just I didn't know that you weren't supposed to have more than them. I was like, hmm, candy, and it's also healthy, so I'm... And anyway, long story short, I got really sick. <laughs> um, so my mom had to, like, find a lock for the medicine cabinet, which, like, probably should have already been there. <laughs> anyway, I should get some of these, because... <sighs> I'd be needing a balanced diet. <laughs> these things right here. Like, I don't know if this is like a thing that you deal with, but like I have a problem sometimes where if I have a day off, sometimes I just don't want to brush my teeth. And I know it's like really, really, really important, but like, I like doing this and it just makes my mouth taste better on those days where I really can't do anything, but then it makes me feel not so gross. And like, seriously, if you feel less gross, you feel a little bit better. It's weird. So, do you want some? Okay, I'll go ahead and scan it for you. Yeah. Honestly, like, <sighs> we're gonna get through this. I know you don't know me and I don't know you, but just feel vibe and it's gonna be fine. Somehow. Somehow it's gonna be okay. Like, maybe it won't be okay right this second, and maybe it won't be okay tomorrow, but at some point, we'll get there. We just have to keep trying. Doing things like getting ourselves multivitamins. And maybe cutting back on the cold brew. 
don't we all have choices to make? <laughs> Give you my discount, okay? Nice. So your total's gonna be like nice. So your total's gonna be fourteen seventy-two. Is that good? Okay. Cash or card? the trees. Our receipts here are so long I swear that I could just pull it forever. Like, we have to chop down a tree every morning just to, like, make the receipt rolls from hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. Well, um, listen, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. And, like, oh, oops, is okay. Can I give you a hug? Okay. Let me just reach over the counter. Okay. Seriously, we can do this. <laughs>